Shift 2 I have been out for 18 years. It's a game that we know inside and out. It's predictable, it's chaotic, it's fun, and it's some classic mind games. But what if Valve decided to add something new to the battlefield? Not another weapon because we know it's Valve and so we not do that. And not a new map either because they already recycled that for Smith Mass and uh, Scream Fortress. But what if TF2 added a new way for his bots to have a better impact? So what if TF2 added neural network, an AI that could learn, adapt, and in theory change everything for the game? So, what is a neural network exactly? Well, it's very simple. At Zekro, they are computer models inspired by the human brain. They process some massive amount of information, spot some patterns, and improve over time through trial and error. Others are just, you know, following a simple uh, pre-written script or rules. In short terms, the traditional boss will just follow some instructions that you give them, while the normal network will follow some experience. And in TF2, it means that the bots could actually learn. They could observe thousands of matches, analyze the player habits, and predict some likely outcomes. For example, is the soldier rocket jumping? Why does he rocket jump? Is it because it's the fastest way to move? Or is it because he was in danger? And the bot will try to integrate all of that data and use it later on. And because of that, the neural network could detect and react to all of the data in real time. And as the time passes, as it goes, the bots will stop feeling like bots and they will start to be more close to some human movements, gameplay and reaction time. So for casual, what would it change exactly for example? Well just try to imagine that. A casual game where some empty player slots could be filled with AI teammates who just don't run forward blindly and therefore you would not have to leave the server if someone just decided to cap. The robot could also read situations, for example, fall back when losing, group up, cover flanks, spy check. They could actually work with you instead of being a burden as we know what the training mode is nowadays. And for the new players, it would actually be quite good, because instead of being stomped in the first game by Roberto who have 10,000 hours into the game, they could just join a bot-friendly lobby where the world bots play at their skill level and gradually improving alongside the new player. For example, the pyro could just learn how to air blast from bots. Uh, the soldier could maybe practice how to prefer corners and the medic could learn when to push, when to not push and stuff like that. So the AI would not just fill the space, it will also be a way to teach new players and TF2 could finally have something it doesn't like nowadays, it's basically a learning mode, an actual real one because Yes, we have the community one, we, like, it's a great community like learning thingy, but the issue is uh, the official one, it's pretty bad and you learn faster to just hop into a game getting demolished and to the die and retry rather than doing that training mode. And we also have MVM. Right now, the MVM bots are quite predictable, like every veteran knows every pass, every wave, and yeah, it's fun, but it's kinda routine, honestly. So now imagine that, the normal network bots, 
in MVM. They just don't follow a path, but they adapt. For example, they see you camping a corner or camping uh, an entry for the wave, well, they could take another road. You rely too much on air blast, where well, they stagger their push or bring backup. You spam stickies, they could just spawn with scorch shot and just shoot the floor when they enter to destroy that trap. And suddenly, the MVM isn't anymore about memorizations, but it's also about improvisation. And in fact, if neural AI was becoming the norm, MVM as we know it nowadays would likely need a revamp. Maps would need to offer more pass and dynamic objectives. The difficulty wouldn't just scale anymore on the health, the speed or the damage, but also more on the intelligence. And the neural MVM could basically create an endless replayability, but it would also make a steeper curve. Casual players would probably struggle when they hop into MVM. Unless Valve tried to introduce some new tools, some new class tweaks, and stuff to balance things out if it was happening. Obviously, weather is light, so there is also darkness. And if the neural network could be used to teach new players to help them be better at the game, it could also be used for cheats. We could probably end up with some AI assisted aimbot, with some fake legit players who would actually use some AI enchanting features and stuff like that. And once the cheats start learning and adapting, spotting the cheaters will become very hard, almost impossible, because we do, wouldn't know what to check, we wouldn't know if we should check, for example, if a player is good, but is a player good because he have 10 hours into the game, or is he good because he's cheating, and are those 10 hours cheated hours, or is it actually just someone who put years into being a good player? It would be almost impossible to tell, and if that happens, the chief to trust could break entirely. Every top fragger would be suspected, every smart play would almost feel unfair, and the human element could almost be replaced by the AI. The mistakes and inconsistencies could be replaced by some calculations and some steady dominations. Now, for Valve, what will it mean exactly? It's fairly simple. If no old network were added, Valve would face probably its biggest challenge yet. The anti cheats will need to become equally advanced, potentially relying on some maybe AI versus AI system, uh, some stuff who could detect subtle PHS patterns or like. So I'm like checking basically for any AI thingy that could happen into the game on a player side. The community servers could also evolve into some AI free sanctuary, while the official casual server could be dominated by a mix of human and rodent players. And in short, TF2 would evolve into a game where being good wouldn't just mean aiming well, but also fighting against a software that learns faster than you. So, would neural network in TF2 be a good thing? Well, in theory, it would make the game maybe more alive, maybe more dynamic, 
and probably a bit easier for new players to learn but it could also make it less human less honest and less funny because how would you replicate a friendly with a neural network who is trained on shooting the enemy team so smarter isn't always better and if TF2 ever embraced AI on that scale it will probably change the game forever maybe in some ways we are not ready for it anyway it was just a small series that I had to my mind I hope you guys enjoyed it and I would be curious to have your thoughts on it what do you think about it? what do you think about neural network in TF2? do you think it could work and if so why? do you think it would be good for new players or on the opposite do you think it would be bad because some bad players or like people with bad attentions could use that to create something who would harm the game.